Howdy, pards. Welcome to Trigger. Welcome to our special SHOT Show coverage. I'm Michael Bain, and this is the basement of SHOT 2023. Now, like your basement at home, it's got some really cool stuff in it. It's also got some really bad stuff in it. It also has stuff that heaven knows what it is in it, but the basement is always the coolest place at SHOT. It's always the place where you're going to find innovation. For example, Dr. Jim's Elixir for your gun. It cleans, it lubricates, it mixes perfectly with gin. No, that was a joke. It was a very bad joke. But it will lubricate your gun, and plus, it's a great display. Let's go root around a little bit more in the basement. first to introduce you to Marissa and Diane Bishop years ago. They are really, really innovative gunsmiths. The first gun that we talked about a lot was the 458 so-called Marlin. We talked about the only 458 bolt gun that will not jam, and I have one. I took it out to FTW. Never jams. It's not something you ever worry about. This is a 375 Bishop Magnum. Now, this is what happens when you got a lot of Tyrannosaurus Rexes on your property. They're giving you a lot of trouble. You might as well hit them and knock them down. 230 grain bullet, 2,800 feet per second. Trust me on this. Even your most vicious Tyrannosaurus is going to stop for a second with his little hands and go, ouch, that really hurt. One of the reasons we come down to the basement is the basement is where innovation happens. This is their hunting version of the 375 Bishop Magnum. They also have a number of other for long range shooting. They have AR-10s. This is one of the most innovative and thoughtful new gun makers out there. Like I said, Tyrannosaurus, heads up, we're coming for you. Okay, one of the things that you need to know about the basement of the SHOT Show is that's where all the cool kids hang out. The first time we started talking to you about Tandem Cross Parts, it was a really small company with a lot of really big ideas. And every year they've gone forward with newer, better ideas. This is an important milestone for them. This is their Manticore Trigger Group for the Ruger 1022. You guys know I've built more 1022s than I can count. You guys know I've spent a lot of money on triggers. But this is one of the best, most intelligently thought out setups I've seen. Obviously, you got this magazine release here, which makes it really easy to drop the mag. The trigger is just about perfect. But what I like really more than anything else is releasing the bolt on a 1022 should not be some sort of act of will. One of the things about a 1022 is that nobody really thought you might ever want to release the bolt. Well, They've got a great big round knob here that allows you when your bolt drops back, you work the knob, the bolt falls. That's how it's supposed to be. The other thing is the safety. Now typically on a 1022 you got to push button safety, push it one side it fires, push it the other side it's safe. Well with this particular safety, look at this, fire, safe, gosh. The safety's in the trigger, like you see a lot of military rifles. That's so you know automatically the gun is on safe. You don't have to look to see if there's a little red button sticking out. So, Tandem Cross is moving toward making their own rifle. I fully believe that when I come down here next year, they will have a 100% Tandem Cross eyes rifle. But in the meantime, we're building a 1022. Check out this guy. Let's keep cruising the basement.
Okay, we're here at the Tisa's booth, shot 2023, getting ready to do something I love to do, which is give away something worth a lot of money. We've been talking about this for weeks and weeks and weeks. Tisa's D10, 10 millimeter, the Hog Slayer. The Hog Slayer, Full absolutely. From it's got two kills. Slide. Two kills. It has two kills. It's been blooded. I would never give you guys a gun that hadn't <laughs> already been blooded. But cylinder slides, you know, close their doors after 44 years. This is the last custom to come out of one of the most famous custom shops ever, Hollow Sun Optics. It comes with a couple of bits, pieces of ammunition from some guy, I don't know, Mike McNett at Double Tap. In fact, <laughs> Mike McNett is one of the people who personally dragged 10 millimeter out of the grave and we into it. We he did an excellent job. So you got some double tap ammunition. You got Hunter's HD Gold shooting glasses. All you need are hogs. Who won it? John Moore, wherever you are out there on the floor of the SHOT Show, you just had yourself a $5,000 day. You got the custom gun. Double tap 10 millimeter ammunition, Hunter's HD Gold, top of the line shooting glasses. All you need is a place to shoot pigs. And we would ask you that as you slay the evil pig, take video, send it to Tesis. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And let's put it up because we want to know that we are doing our part for Mother Gaia. There you so, go. <laughs> Dave Biggers, thank you. We're it's saving them from pig farts. He did a terrible job shooting pigs. The pig almost ran over him before he actually shot it. What it's can you dead. Say? There's bacon. <laughs> All right. When? That's it from Tesis. John Moore, call me. I'll give you 500 for the gun. about this a little bit before. It's an MCA 22 chassis uh, from Luke AR, developed by Mark Roth, who's over there hiding because he's got a really ugly face. That's why he's in the basement of the SHOT Show. I showed you just the rough chassis. This isn't built up on a 1022 action. This to me is a really fascinating, really excellent chassis for one big reason. It's light enough that you can run it as a race gun. Steel challenge, rimfire challenge, where you run and run a gun really quickly, but it's adjustable enough that you can build up a really serious precision rifle with it. Second point, just to add, it's 189 bucks. You're not gonna have to actually sell your car to buy this chassis, but everything here, it's thoughtful, it can be adjusted, and more than that, one of the things that you always see from Luth AR, Randy Luth, Mark Roth, is they wanna make sure that it's sturdy that when you clamp these things down, they stay down. Now, I know from experience that sometimes with the looser adjustments, you're up and you're down in competition, you're throwing the gun around, you're bouncing the gun around. The next thing you know, your adjustments are out. That is not gonna happen with this chassis from Luth AR. So, it really looks good built up, doesn't it? I can't wait to get mine built up. Of course, mine will be more colorful. Let's keep cruising the basement. This week's Triggered is brought to you by Arms Corps, Rock Island Armory. What's your passion? Taurus, USA. Always ready, always brand. Stoger, everyday tough. SDS Imports, Tesis. Tesis means quality. Hunter's HD Gold. They change so you don't have to. And MTM Case Guard, quality shooting sports accessories. My friend Riley Bowman is one of the top competition shooters in the country. He hangs out with people like Rob Latham, sometimes works with him in classes, but he has his own company. And one of the things that company does are the Range Tech Shot Timers. These are really sophisticated timers and I'm surprised that there aren't more people out there who have heard about them. They're smaller, they're lighter, you've got a connection right there to your computer, but that's not the only things that Conceal Carry has here. One of the things that I like, these mag locks, these barrel locks, these make dry fire safer. 
because the most dangerous thing about dry fire is ammunition has a way of crawling into a gun. But if you've got a very bright follower on your magazine, you've got one of these down the barrel, you're not going to mistake it for a loaded gun. And finally, they have an excellent, excellent first aid kit, trauma kit. This is what I have in my car. This is what I carry. This is probably what you should carry. But we're down here in the basement at the SHOT Show, and this is where innovation lives. Innovations like this timer, innovations like the medical kit. So let's keep looking. Okay, that's it for the basement of the SHOT Show. I wanted to spend a little time with my buddy here. He's looking at a spec grim. But there's so much down here in the basement that is going to set the tone for the type of things that you see for sale over the next couple of years. If you do come to SHOT Show, you need to spend a day walking line down here in the basement so you'll know what's going to ding your credit card. I'm Michael Bay. This is Triggered. Next week, we'll be back at the secret hidden bunker in the Rocky Mountains. You can find us on michaelbay.tv. You can find us on YouTube. You can find us on Rumble. If you look hard enough, you can probably find us under the cushions of your couch. Stay safe. Let's go get a drink, buddy. Really?